Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to continue in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And we are in the New Testament in the book of Romans. And we are in chapter 12. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, a rational service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. In other words, maybe when you're first saved, when you were in your sinful nature before you accepted Christ and got forgiven, maybe it was your nature to be sexually, you know, permissible, promiscuous. And so, but then the Holy Spirit and God starts working on you. Because now you belong to him and you've accepted him. So he has an interest in you. And in that interest, he wants to make you as good as you can be. So this, we're in this verse here, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That's where you, once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and no one goes to the Father except to the Son, you want to do the will of God, and He will help you. He doesn't just go, oh yeah, there's another one. Let's see what they do. Uh-uh, no. He'll come to you, and He will work with you, and He'll work on you, and He will help get out of you those things that are sinful and help you overcome your sinful nature. So that's what that's saying. Verse 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office or um, function, so we being many are one body in Christ, and every one members of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, he that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation, abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionated one to another with brotherly love, in honor, preferring one another. In other words, hanging out with like-minded Christians, over hanging out with someone, a, a bunch of sinful people down at the bar. Choose your, choose your brothers and sisters to hang out with that are, you know, doing godly things. And you'll be less likely to sin. And you'll be pulling yourself closer and closer to God. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and not curse. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. 
Be of the same mind one to another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. And be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, and this is in all caps, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Verse 20, Therefore, and then all caps, If thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Verse 21. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. The Lord God in heaven, he's the one, he's the judge. He will dis dispense justice. Not us. We're not to, to dispense justice vengeance <laughs> he's going to take care of it and you have to allow him and if you try to get in there and uh, you know do your thing and I'm going to get them and they're going to do that and I'm going to be careful because you're setting yourself against God because God said he would take care of that you don't have to worry yourself about it you know, he can see what's going on. You can pray to him and ask him, Lord, give me the strength to stay out of this and trust in you that you're taking care of it. But don't go uh, plotting and the thinking and the planning and conniving and scheming on how you're going to get somebody back. The Lord doesn't miss anything. He's everywhere. He sees everything. He knows everything. So, he'll know, he'll see, he will take care of it. Not in your time, not in my time, in his time. But just be patient and know that the Lord never sleeps. And that even when you can't see him, he's working. Even when you can't feel him, he's working. He's always working and he never stops working. And we just have to relax sit back, keep doing what we're doing, to walk and try to be in His will and perform His will at all times in every area of our life. And He'll take care of the rest of the stuff. He'll take care of the people that don't believe. He'll take care of the um, people that want to try to um, hurt you or, or discredit you. Or what's the word that they do now? What is that? You know, destroy you. Where if they hear something that, you know, you say something or you do something and they don't like it, if the left doesn't like it, they do something to you. I can't remember what the term is. If anybody knows, just put it down in the description box. I can't recall what it is right now. But it's evil. And as always, <laughs> I love you.